All right. Well, as you can tell from the title, I have a surprise. We're going to check it out here in a minute. Uh, I found this on Facebook and messaged the guy on Friday. He was in, he was hunting and uh, he hit me back up and then I got in there and uh, I was the first one in and so I made him an offer. I paid him when he was asking for it and now it's sitting in my driveway and so quick backstory i uh back when i was a younger man probably about what was i 16 or so uh, if you can hear my children screaming they're jump, jumping on the trampoline so they're having the fun anyway uh so back when i was about 16 years old i uh i bought a pickup and it was a 1967 chevrolet fleet set or you know wide body and I loved that truck. It had a three on the tree. It'd get hung up, drop down into second and third all the time. You'd have to get out, crawl underneath it, pop it out. Started working on it, made some conversions, converted it to three in the floor. Uh, put a gas tank in between the front. Anyway, I was just working it and I was working on making it, uh, you know, custom for what I really wanted in a vehicle. And, and I was, uh, I was young, and uh, which which is great. So, long story longer, I loved that truck. It was blue, the original blue paint job, and it looked really good when it was raining, and it and it looked okay every other time. <laughs> and uh, but I was getting ready to paint it and do some other things. Well, anyway, I ended up selling it uh, to get married. To to I bought a wedding ring. I bought a I bought a wedding ring with the money that I got from the truck to marry my wife. And so that's how we got started. And uh, so now it's been 17 years. And this opportunity came up to purchase another one. This time it's a stepdad or Nara. And it's not blue, but it used to be. <laughs> it's got a few layers of paint on it. But we're gonna check this truck out. Um, there's some pretty exciting features on it, and uh, and I want to share it with you guys. So we're gonna get started now. There are a couple of things I need to do to it, and we'll go over those. But let's just let's get you turned around here. All right. Well, there it is. This is the 1967 flavor it's got some pretty quintessential characteristics that make it a 1967 this hood line is the big one the 67 has the slanted hood these 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 trucks were produced from 67 to 72 and the 67 is the only year that has that slanted hood the 67 is also uh, the only full year where they made the small back glass, which this one has. This one is the step set. It's got dual exhaust. We'll check that out here in a minute. It's got everything that a guy could want in a vehicle. It's an old pickup. Like I said, the paint's peeling. Look at this, look at these wheels. Look at that. It's just, those are new. Those are brand new wheels and tires. I don't, I, I, I just don't even understand. There's, there's some rust. We got a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, you know, crunchiness right there going on. Uh, no side mirrors, as you can see. That's where the side mirror should go. It's, there's nothing there. Got the C10 emblem. New wheels. Not a lot of, not a lot of negative. There's a little wrinkle right here in the metal. That's the only one I've really seen so far. It's a pretty straight truck. I'm pretty impressed with it. 
this can be adjusted this isn't a that's your that's your hood springs you know they they get they get tight and they go to pushing the hood up that's just that's that's what they, they're calling that's common we've got a nice uh you know bent antenna here it doesn't work all the headlights work all the lights work it's got the front chevy emblem in it it's even got a place to put you know the front plate here we don't require two license plates in arkansas we only have to have one in the back and so there we go we, we've come all the way around this you know gas tank it's right here behind the seat and uh little little rust right here it's not bad little hole that's pretty common i think we could patch on that there's one pretty good one pretty good hole right here on the front driver fender needs a little help and that's about it on right well the rocker panels the rocker panels are always rusted out on these trucks as you can see the rocker panel you know has a very obvious hole in it very obvious hole in it right there and you know that's the seat that seat looks like it probably came out of a chevy suburban it does have the uh ashtrays in the back you can see it right there a little you know which there's nowhere to sit so it, that does no good uh the rubbers they you know they're just completely they're completely dry and brittle and falling off but that's again to be expected so the door panels you know they're missing but i've got them but they're rusted up pretty good we're going to see about what we can do there it does have speakers they work but i can't get my the radio the fm antenna is not hooked up and so the radio doesn't work so and i can't connect my phone to it yet because i haven't figured out how to work the radio to reset the uh, pin the pin yeah so we're still there the door you know it's not the door it's not hooked up to anything at all we're we got to fix that and we got uh, some carpet in the seat in the floorboard here and the floorboard you know it, pa it passes look at that that's good metal that's not that's not rust. I mean, it's just surf. It's not bad at all. It passes all the, you know, it passes all the right tests there. And uh, what else we got? Oh, here, we've got. You, we have the absolutely required. You can't even have a truck if you don't put the steering wheel in here. You know, the racing steering wheel. It's. I don't. I don't know where the the horn works. So that's cool. And uh, we don't have a lot of. Uh, drip rail rust going on. It looks pretty good. You can see right here. There's not. It's it's. There's some. It's just not. There's some. It's just not terrible. All right. We've got. Let's look behind the seat. Ugh. All right. So you can see we've got what looks to be. I don't know something something for sure something we've got a new uh float sending unit in there you can see that looks shiny and new and what else we got seat belts so that's good won't use those the seat belts they work but i don't know what else to do with them We've got, uh, let's go around to the other side. Here, we've got, uh, we've, oh, we've got something here. What we got here? All right, we've got a quart of oil, high mileage. We got a funnel, so that's good. We got a funnel right here, that's cool. And then, we got looks like another quarter oil. All right. There's the spring. 
there's the spring for the probably the that, that would have been where the jack would go i would think i think so that's where the jack would go Okay, this over here is hooked up. It works. So you see we got the glove box. Fuel filters. We'll see why we have those here in a minute. There's, here's the, uh, there's the wire for the antenna. That's why it doesn't work. We've got a driver that doesn't seem to go to anything. Another fuel filter. The door handles. Those look like older door handles. What does that go to? Does that go to a drum set? I think it does. I think that's a, a wing, a wing bolt for a, like a kick drum. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Is it something else? Let me know. I don't, I don't know. And we got a cover, actual, a hub cover for an axle. Probably. We've got uh, more door handles and roller uppers. Yep, door handle, 6772. We've got the uh, rubber grommet. The Yeah, you got to have those. Some light bulbs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hose barb. I'm thinking they were having heater issues because the heater doesn't work at all. What's this? What does this go to? Does that go? It's hard to do this one handed. I go there so still doesn't really help anything does it I have no idea fuses anyway we got that some papers more fuses a bracket of some kind a screwdriver all right that's what we got in there so that's what we know There's the placard, the data placard for this. This says the paint is blank, and it's not on there. SE, nothing. Service. There's some stuff wrote on there, but I can't read it. can't make it out. Uh, and this may not even be the, this may not even be the original glove box lid. You know, there's no way to know that for sure. It's a little, a little rough, but it shuts. Over here, we've got the, race car instrument panel, the three gauges, it's got water, battery, oil. This doesn't move at all. This does move, but this is what runs the fan. It doesn't, it doesn't move. This was for sale. It's not for sale anymore. So this is the shifter. That works. But a battery, battery maintainer, that's good. That come with it. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. Here's where it used to be. Uh, I, I'm pretty confident that's the old shifter where that might be the automatic. It might be for an automatic. I'm, I don't know. But there's the old steering stuff. There's the ignition key right there. Right, 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 right there. And I think, I'm thinking that this is not the original steering column. I don't think it is. I'm pretty confident it's not. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a different steering column than what originally came in it. I'm actually pretty confident in that. 
anyway so all right well let's uh oh better put that back up there we go right there all right oh and then here's the here's the dash there's the what's that knife Okay, we got a knife out of the deal. There's the dash. It's it's on there. It's on there, real real nice. It, it, we'll just leave that and act like we didn't see that. All right, let's open the hood. Here's kind of where things get good. The hood, you know, it's got it's got some issues right here. This it's kind of not not smooth. Here's the engine. He said it's a 454 big block. What do you think? I tend to think that's probably right. It's rather takes up a lot of room. Power steering leaks. There's a hose right here. It's got a hole in it. I'm going to fix on that. There's the fuel pump. It's got an electronic fuel pump. Uh, taking it off of the Taking it off the engine, putting it on battery. Makes the alternator work a little harder. There's fuel regulator. It's set on four. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how much that is, but it seems to run okay, so we leave it. And then this is. That's where that goes. That was well, popped out for some reason. And and so there you go. We've got uh, alternator. You know, it's all new. It's all new. We got a clutch, clutch fan. Yeah, got a clutch fan here. We got the belts. The belts are look. I mean, the belts are new. So we're we're looking really good there. And uh, I don't. Everything just looks good. I mean, the battery. You know, it's in good shape. It it uh, it'll it'll fire right up. Should anyway. Looks like we've got transmission lines running down. To the transmission and got the Edelbrock car carburetor. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but it says it somewhere. Let's see it right there. Edelbrock. And then it's got the nice, you know, Edelbrock intake here. Yeah, that's better. Well, I had a setting wrong on my camera. It was not wanting to work right. I think we're in better shape now. So, um, yeah, this engine has got like 2,000 miles on it. And so it's basically just brand new. Um, and it runs like it's brand new. The radiator looks in really good condition. The hoses are all in good condition. I mean, everything's new under here. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Even the, even the brakes. Even the brakes look, I mean, that's new. That's a new, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't still look like that after 60, almost 60 years, 50, however many, 54 years, 54 years, they don't look like that. That's new, you know, those lines, that's all, that's, that's, that's looking good. So looking at the frame, everything looks pretty good under here. Let's see if we can take a gander. I don't know what you. That's what the frame looks like, and it's just not bad at all. Surface rust only. No major scaling. No nothing. Nothing really very serious at all, from what I can see. Uh, no major leaks except for that power steering, and that's about it. This is going to be a cold start. We haven't started it. Uh, today at all so this will be fresh cold start we'll hear what it sounds like and be right back
that's what it sounds like uh, it doesn't have a bed in there that's just a sheet of plywood right now and we're we're probably gonna do something about that as you can see by looking under the hood you don't want to put your hands in there you get them you get them taken clean off that there is zero guarding no guarding no guards whatsoever you just plop your hand right down there in that fan and lose a finger so but it just sits here and runs I mean it just sits here and runs great the oil it's about time to change the oil we'll do that everything else looks really good It's got the shiny stuff on it. All right, let's, let's do it. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, appreciate you watching, and man, 1967 Chevrolet truck. I just can't believe it. This is, man, if there was a truck that I could just go buy, that 67 is it. That's the one for me. So, all right. Well, let me know what you think about it. Give me a thumbs up if you want to, subscribe if you haven't, and, uh, and uh, share with your friends. You know, I appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.